Good morning. Welcome once again to our thought for the day. I'm so glad to be able to come into your homes and share the precious word of God. I want to read you a little text this morning. It says this. I am come a light into the world that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. I am come a light into the world that whosoever believeth in me should not abide in darkness. And if we're not going to abide in darkness, then that means that we must abide in the light. And that's the title I've given to my little thought, to abide in the light. And I thank God this morning that the light is Christ Jesus. And I'm glad that it's my privilege to be able to abide in him. What a wonderful truth. What a wonderful uh, fact that light has come. And the light has come in the person of Jesus Christ. The text says, I am come. The great I am. Oh, isn't it wonderful when we read those words? The great I am. Not an angel, but God himself. Oh, thank God for angels, but thank God that he comes to you and to me. He is the light. He is our rescuer. He is all that we need today. But there's yet another wonderful fact, and that is that we can abide in this light. Yes, you and I, you were sinful and have made all the mistakes that we could possibly make, are told that we can abide in the, this light. We abide in Christ, the rock, and we are safe and secure in him. We can know his presence and we can know his security. Our sin has been washed by the blood of Jesus. What a dark, sinful place this world is. It's as black as midnight, yet we can know the Son of Righteousness who is risen with healing in his wings. And so Jesus has come that we can know this light. And in our midnight experience, we can know the midday experience. We can know the darkness disappear and the great light of Christ and his presence come right where we find ourselves in our time of need. You see, when Jesus comes, darkness must go. Darkness and light cannot live together. In God's word, every word is of great importance. Not a word is, is unimportant. Oh, how wonderful the living word of God is. Look at that word there in our text, whosoever. I'm so pleased that that word, whosoever, is there. It includes you and it includes me. But if we're in Jesus, we no longer sit in darkness. If we're in Jesus, we no longer sit in the fear of the sh shadow of death. We must not abide in this darkness, but we abide in his light. We abide in his light. For the light of heaven and of this world has overcome the darkness of hell. We have been taken from the ignorance and the doubt and the despair of sin. For Jesus has come to set us free. And he hasn't come in vain, but he's come in victory. Oh, we read in God's word that he died upon the cross, but he rose victoriously for you and for me. And it's this living Christ, not a dead Christ, this living Christ that I experience in my life today. And so this day, if you feel that the enemy brings his doubts, that the enemy brings his trials, uh, and the, the, the way seems to be hard, uh, and the, the burdens that we bear seem to be heavy. Call upon the name of Jesus, for he cannot and he will not fail. Shake off the depression that comes from Satan and abide in the light and the person of Christ. For in him we have our hope. In him we have our joy. And in him we have our certainty and assurance of heaven. Look to Jesus and only to him and you will rejoice in the warm sunshine of his presence. Yes, you may be going out into a dark world, but you're going out in the light of our heavenly Saviour. Continue to look to him and trust him. God bless you.